Welcome back to the Deep Dive video series. We'll have a quick look at inherited roles today. And to do that, we first need to talk about what the roles actually will be that we're combining inside our project. If you'll remember our database, we have the colors and we have the palettes tables. I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple of quick roles that are specific to each of these tables. Let's say that I have a role that's just gonna be called the palette, the palette role and that's gonna be only available for select statements without any checks. And I'll go ahead and give that full permissions on all the columns. And I will save this permission, but this is a very scoped permission role to the palettes table and on select. I'll go ahead and create another role on colors. And we'll do essentially the same thing here. And we'll go ahead and say colors in this case. This will also be for select. We'll also say with no checks, and I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on all the columns once more, and I will save that permission. Now, let's say I wanna have sort of a super user role that I wanna be able to give access to both colors and palettes. To do that, we need to go ahead and, and enable the inherited roles functionality. Now, this is a uh, experimental feature, so we'll go ahead and turn this on inside of our console here with the uh, inherited roles feature flag. I'm going to go inside of my settings for my project and I will go inside of the environmental var environment variables and I will go ahead and add a new environment variable which is called this and now I just provide a, uh, a comma separated list of the features I want to turn on. In this case I just have one and I'm going to go ahead and say inherited roles. That will reboot my console, and once that's done, I can go back and we'll be able to see the interface. So I'll refresh the page here real quick. And now I have the ability to add a new role. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one uh, the colors and palettes role. I hit create. And I will go ahead and say that I want to enable both the colors permissions and the palettes permissions. I will save that role. And now we have that defined. We'll go ahead and explore that just to prove that it worked. I'm gonna go and set up my role here, and I'll go ahead and use initially just the colors. And we can see that I'm scoped down to just my two color uh, table options. If I do the same thing for my palettes, which I believe is just called palette, we'll see the same uh, situation. And now if I were to say, go ahead and give me the colors and palette role, which I think maybe was palettes. Now I have the access to all of the permissions and I'm able to query those as I normally would. That is the basics of inherited roles. As of now, this is specific to Postgres databases and only works for select statements and is not something you could use for remote schemas. Those are all features that we are working on and if some of those are more important to you than others, feel free to let us know in any of our community platforms. In the next video, we'll have a look at even more advanced features in Hazura 2.0.